Job has just called his friends miserable comforters because they weren't offering really any good advice. They weren't really offering help. In fact, they were not correct at all in their assessment of the situation. And it's not helping Job. So Job has told them they're miserable comforters. And then he continues his speech in chapter 16, beginning at verse 6. Job 16, beginning at verse 6. And we'll read through the end of this chapter. If I speak, my pain is not lessened. And if I cease, what will go forth from me? But now he, God, has exhausted me. You have made desolate all my company. You have shriveled me up. It has become a witness, and, and my leanness rises up against me. It answers to my face. His anger has torn me and hunted me down. He has gnashed his teeth at me. My adversary sharpens his eyes to look at me. They have opened their mouth wide at me. They have struck me on the cheek in reproach. They have masked themselves against me. God hands me over to ruffians and tosses me to the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he shattered me. He has grasped me by the neck and shaken me to pieces. He has also set me up as his target. He surrounds me with arrows. His, without mercy, he splits my kidneys open. He pours out my gall on the ground. He breaks through me with breach after breach. He runs at me like a warrior. I have sewed sackcloth over my skin and thrust my horn in the dust. My face is flushed from weeping, and the shadow of death is on my eyelids. Why? Because there is no violence in my hands, and my prayer is pure. O oh, earth, do not cover my blood and let there be no resting place for my cry. Even now, behold, my witness is in heaven and my advocate is on high. My friends are my scoffers. My eye weeps to God. Oh, that a man might argue with God as a man with his neighbor. For when a few years are past, I shall go the way of no return. Do you feel Job's hurt? Can you empathize with this situation? He does not know why he is going through what he's going through. And he is calling God, his adversary, and his friends worse. You're not helping. God has left me to you, and you're making it worse. I wish I could argue with God. You know something that Job doesn't. You know it's not God doing it. You know this is Satan. You know this is the devil. You know that God has, yes, allowed this, but God really is going through it with Job. And I think God is really hurting with Job. And you know the end of the story. You know how things work out for Job. So you know God is with him, but he doesn't. And when you and I are in the fray, when you and I are hurting, it's hard to, it's difficult to see that proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. And so we understand Job. There's something Job says here that he means one way that I want to point out another way. Verse 9, he says, My adversary sharpens his eyes to look at me. Now when Job says adversary there, he may have his friends in mind. He may have God in mind. But it is true that there is an adversary against him, an accuser. That accuser, that adversary is Satan. And I want you to understand that many, most of the problems that you and I face, the struggles that you and I go through, or because we have one that accuses us, one who is our adversary, who wants to see our ruin and destruction. And that person is not God. God desires all men everywhere to be saved. But the devil doesn't. Don't let the devil win. Hang on to God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, thank you for being there for us. When the world, when our friends, when Satan stand against us, 
Father, we're reminded of what Paul says in Romans chapter 8 when he says, If God is for us, who can stand against us? And Father, help us to hang on to that promise. Promise that you were there. And you were walking with us. And carrying us through. When times are tough. Thank you. And Father, please know our love. And thank you for the love that you give us in Christ. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I don't know what you're going through. It may be that you can identify with Job. Maybe everything in life seems to be going against you. Hang on to God. Because I promise he will hold on to you. Thank you for joining me. Look forward to being with you again. Until the next time, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.